Idea number one is using stock footage. And channels like Brainy Dose do this and they get millions of views per month. And in order for stock footage to work, what I would personally do is try to find a niche where it would actually make sense to just have audio playing in the background and showing stock footage on top. This isn't going to work for every single niche. However, this can definitely work for certain niches where you're mostly focused on what's being said throughout the video. And for example, it can work in the psychology niche as evidenced by Brainy Dose, because what's really important in these videos isn't necessarily the stock footage that's being shown on the screen, but it's really what's being said throughout the video and the points that they're giving and the educational value that's being delivered. And now you might be asking, Matt, where can I get stock footage for completely free? Well, you can use Pixabay Video, Pexels Video, a website called Vidivo, and another website called VidEasy. And for example, if we open up this channel, Brainy Dose, right here, which has over a million subscribers and gets 5 million views per month, if we go to one of their latest videos, for example, this one right here, why you shouldn't tell people Brainy about Dose. your goals, as you can see, it starts off with a picture of somebody riding in a car. So you can go to websites like VidEasy right here, and you can simply search car, just like so, and you'll find tons of free stock footage that you can use of cars, of people driving cars, and so on. And then really what I would recommend doing with this niche is, first of all, writing the script, then doing a voiceover, and then going out to find different stock clips from any of the different stock websites that are out there. Now, if you're using some of the free stock websites and you can't find a particular clip that you really want to use within your video, then you can consider some paid options as well that have a way bigger library of stock videos. For example, you could look into Storyblocks, Envato Elements, and Motion Elements. And then you might be asking, Matt, how could I edit together these stock videos all into a single video? Well, you don't need to buy any expensive editing programs. You can actually use a free software such as Shotcut, HitFilm Express, or OpenShot. And you never have to even show your face within this niche. Idea number two for making YouTube videos without ever showing your face is screen recordings. You can simply record your either computer screen or phone screen and show different tutorials how to use certain software to give value to people when they're searching for how to use a particular software or how to do something on their device. And there's many channels that get millions of views per month and make way more than full-time incomes just by making screen recording videos and doing a voiceover over the screen recording. Now you might be saying, Matt, I need an example of this. So this channel right here is called Simon Says It, and this channel simply does screen recordings showing how to do certain things within different software. For example, One. this video right here shows how to fix a missing scroll bar in Excel. And this channel pulls in over a million views per month doing this, and they've gotten over 300,000 subscribers, which would earn them a silver play button. Also, here's another channel called Tech Gumbo, and this channel right here has over a million subscribers, which would earn them a gold play button. And this channel pulls in a whopping 2.6 million views per month. So these channels could potentially be making quite a bit of money just from ad revenue alone, not to mention if they became affiliates for a bunch of the different software that they talk about within their video. For example, this video right here talks about the top five best video editing software. And what they could actually do is sign up for the affiliate programs of some of the software that they talk about, and then they could put that in their description. And if we watch their videos, as we can see, it's literally just a screen recording. Final Cut Pro is available from software right here. And these videos would potentially be quite easy to make. Now you might be asking, Matt, how can I actually record my screen and make videos such as this so I can build up a channel doing this? Well, I would recommend a completely free software. You don't have to pay for screen recording software. And it's called OBS Studio. OBS Studio is my personal favorite screen recorder. In fact, for this video that you're watching right here, I'm using OBS and I can actually show you what it looks like. This is OBS right here. It's super simple to use. You can drag yourself around and make these super easy screen recording videos. You just hit start recording, stop recording. It's everything you need to create these types of videos to potentially get a ton of views on YouTube and do very well. And think of how many different software are out there that you could make specific tutorials showing how to use every feature within those software. You'll never run out of video ideas. And then also a really cool thing about doing screen recording videos is that a lot of cell phones actually have screen recorders built into them. So you could potentially hit a whole nother market by doing screen recording videos showing how to use different apps, how to use their phone, how to set up settings within your phone. So screen recording videos could potentially be a great way to create YouTube videos without ever showing your face. Idea number three is slideshows. There are tons of different slideshow videos on YouTube that get lots and lots of views. And slideshows are relatively easy to make. 
For example, you can use completely free online programs such as Google Slides, which is built into your Google account, which you probably have if you're watching this video on YouTube. And you probably wanna see an example of a slideshow video that got a ton of views. So this video right here is called Intermittent Fasting for Weight Loss right here. And as you can see, he's actually using OBS to record his screen at the beginning of the video. But if we get into the video, he's simply using Microsoft PowerPoint to create a slideshow in which he goes over some of the benefits of intermittent fasting and exactly how to do it. This is just a slideshow video in which he does a voiceover on top of the video kind of explaining these different concepts relating to intermittent fasting, how it works, the benefits of it, and so on. And you can create slideshow videos on so many different topics. In fact, this video right here could have definitely been a slideshow video. I could simply create a slideshow showing some of these different channels, put them on the slideshow, and make it look nice. Now you might be asking, Matt, how can I get icons to show within my slideshow like a lot of these ones have that get a lot of views on YouTube? In fact, this channel is pulling in over half a million views per month and it's in the health niche, which there is a ton of demand for, tons of products you can sell and a decent CPM niche from my personal experience. Well, a way to get completely free icons for your slideshows is a website called flaticon.com. And as you can see, if we just search within here, let's say we're making a video about health, so we wanna search biology, we'll simply search it there. And as you can see, there's tons of completely free icons that you can use within your slideshows and by proxy your videos. However, if you do use this website flat icon, I would recommend signing up for one of their paid plans due to the fact that I think you get like commercial use with the icons and then you get access to a ton of more icons as well. And what's really cool about flat icon is they actually have a Google slide extension meaning that when you're creating your slides within Google Slides, you just select add on, and then you can actually import icons directly into Google Slides to make this as simple and as easy as possible. Idea number four for creating faceless YouTube videos is by using text on your screen. This could example work if you're telling stories within your videos, or if you simply want to highlight what's being said within your videos, and you could, for example, use a combination of both stock footage and text on the screen as well. And there's lots of quote videos on YouTube that do incredibly well just literally showing text on a screen as well as fun fact videos. But let's take a look at a couple examples of using text on a screen because you're probably curious what are these channels actually doing in order to get tons of views literally putting text on a screen. The first example I'm going to show you is a channel called Explore Lucid Dreaming. Now this channel hasn't uploaded in a long time yet they still pull in almost a million views per month. And if we go to their videos tab right here and we go to one of their top videos, Lucid Dreaming, for example, 13 things you should never do in your dreams. As you can see, it's simply stock footage, but then they also put text on the screen as they're going throughout the video. So it's kind of a combination between two methods right there, but you might be asking, what's an example of just using text on a screen? Well, there's tons of different quote videos. For example, this one right here, which got 8.6 million views simply talking about the ultimate stoic quote compilation. So they just do narration on these different quotes and they read through them throughout the video. Now I would be a little bit careful if you're going to be creating quote videos due to the fact that you could have copyright problems or problems actually getting your channel monetized with YouTube in order to make ad revenue. So what I would do to be as safe as possible with creating quote videos is I'd make sure you're following the guidelines of fair use meaning that you give adequate commentary on each of the quotes that you talk about. You don't just say the quote, but you kind of explain it more in detail and you make it as comprehensive as possible when you talk about different quotes from different people. Idea number five is by using stock photos. You can always use this in combination with stock photos and videos. Now there's a couple of new websites that I wanna share with you in which you can get tons of free stock photos for completely free for your videos. But first, I wanna show you a channel that's actually using primarily stock photos within their videos, and they still do incredibly well. For example, this channel right here is a scary story channel, and they simply narrate scary stories, and they have a simple picture that relates to the story directly on the video with some text on top of that. So story channels could be a perfect example of using primarily just a stock photo. Now, let me give you a couple example websites where you can actually get these kind of stock photos. For example, you have pixabay.com, you have pexels, you have unsplash.com, and then you also have a website called morgfile. And you can use any of these websites to find tons of free stock photos. For example, if we go to pixabay right here and we search house, you'll see tons of different images of houses that you can use. For example, this one kind of looks like a creepy house that you could use for like a scary story type of thing. And you can even search like haunted house, for example, if you're doing a scary story channel. 
search haunted house and check this out. Tons of different pictures that you can use within your videos. You can even have it fade in and out with different pictures. Use any of the free editors that I mentioned earlier in this video. And you can actually create videos just like this without ever showing your face. Idea number six for video ideas without ever showing your face is whiteboard videos. And this doesn't mean that you actually have to own a whiteboard and videotape yourself drawing on it. No, there are a completely online software that you can actually use to create these types of whiteboard videos without actually ever drawing on a whiteboard yourself. And you might be saying, Matt, what are the software? And can you give me an example of a channel that's actually doing this successfully? And yes, I'm gonna actually pull up a channel right here, which is called Philosophies for Life, has almost a million subscribers on it. And not only that, but this channel pulls in over a million views per month. And it mostly talks about ancient wisdom from different philosophers who have lived throughout time. And it talks about how you can actually improve yourself by following some of their wisdom. But if we watch any of these actual videos, you will notice that it is simply a whiteboard video with some narration on top of it. And the whiteboard consists of just showing different pictures on the whiteboard as well as text throughout the video. And this by far is not the only channel that does this. There are tons of different whiteboard channels out there that do this exact method. And if you're looking for a whiteboard video software, you can consider software such as Videoscribe, which I've personally used and it works great. And there's also software out there like Doodly, which I haven't used, but I've heard many great things about it as well for a whiteboard video software. Idea number seven is 2D animated videos. And you're probably thinking, Matt, in order to create videos like this, you have to be some type of professional editor who knows how to use these super advanced complex editing programs. No, you don't. You can use much more user-friendly software such as Animaker and you can create videos that could potentially get a lot of views without ever showing your face. For example, I'm gonna point you to a channel right here called My Story Animated, which has over 11 million subscribers, which would actually earn them a diamond play button for having over 10 million. And this channel pulls in 300 million views per month. So this channel is a giant operation and they've translated this channel into many languages as well that multiplies their revenue many times. And not only that, but these videos are simply animated videos that play telling people's different stories. So you could find other people's stories, ask them if you can make it into a video or write your own story in your own words, which I would recommend, and then use a 2D animated software such as Animaker. And there's tons of other 2D animation softwares out there that are very user friendly and easy to use in order to create animated videos like this. Now it's time for idea number eight for faceless YouTube videos, in which you never even have to show your face. And this one's kind of an outside the box idea and a little bit of a strange one, but it actually works incredibly well. And I'm gonna share with you a software that'll let you create videos similar to this. Now, idea number eight is mind map videos. Now you might be familiar with what a mind map is. Essentially, it is a tree of information that talks about certain things and organizes the information into an easy digestible format. But what you can do is create mind maps on certain books or certain subjects that you'd like to teach people on, do a screen recording showing your mind map, and then also doing a voiceover on top of the video. And like I said, I'm gonna give you a mind map software, but first, I want to show you a channel that's actually doing this successfully, which is this channel right here called Joseph Rodriguez. It has over 360,000 subscribers, and his channel gets almost a million views per month. And if we take a look at any of these videos, he typically just talks about different concepts of different mystics who have lived throughout time and about different books. And think of how many books are out there that you could create mind maps on, essentially synthesize the information into as easy to understand of a manner as possible and give a ton of value in the process. And what's pretty cool about the software that he's using, which I'm gonna show you in just a second, is that you can start with the concept that you're trying to show in a very small format, and then you can expand it in order to talk more in depth about each of these different formats. And you don't really even need to write a script for these types of videos due to the fact that these mind maps are essentially a script. And also these mind maps allow you to add pictures to further demonstrate the points that you're talking about as well. So that's definitely really cool. And you're probably asking, what's this software that I can use to create mind map videos similar to this? Well, the software that Joseph Rodriguez is using within these videos is one called Xmind. And if you go to xmind.net slash download, as you can see, you can get it on Mac, Windows, or Linux or even on your Android or iOS device. And you can actually create mind maps similar to what he was doing 
and these can be incredibly helpful for synthesizing different information in different books or literary works or really anything that people are interested in learning more about. You might be asking, Matt, what are the best niches to do this on? Well, what I would recommend doing is creating a channel based off of either health, wealth, happiness, or relationships, and then choose a sub niche within one of those niches. For example, if you chose the wealth niche, you could choose finance, and then a sub niche of that would be, for example, make money online or investing or cryptocurrency. There's so many different options available. And the reason I would choose one of these niches is due to the fact that you could sell a product within one of these niches and potentially make a lot more money than if you're just relying on ad revenue, which can be very good as well. And you can potentially make a lot doing it. So now that you know a couple different ways of creating YouTube videos without ever showing your face, Check out this video if you want to discover how to make money on YouTube and how I personally make over $100,000 a month off of YouTube. And this method right here doesn't require you to even show your face. So check out this video right here and I hope you get a ton of value and I'll see you there.